Good morning and welcome to the morning live stream, the morning voiceover huddle. How are you doing? I'm Bill DeWeese, professional voiceover talent, voiceover coach and voiceover demo producer. And I've uh, been doing this full time, recording voiceovers, that is, for the past 18 years. And have worked with, gosh, I wish I could tell you how many students I've worked with. I'm sure it's in the thousands by now. Uh, help, help, helping them to build their own successful voiceover business. And um, so glad you're here this morning. This is just a time to get together to talk voiceover, share a tip, trick, a strategy. If I seem a little discombobulated, it's because I certainly am. We are deep, neck deep into a move right now. And I literally, just before going on here this morning, I reached for my cup of coffee and I couldn't find it. And I just about had a panic attack. Everything's just kind of, I found it. It was sitting outside the booth, of course. But you, you know what it's like when like when every element of your life has moved around and shuffled, everything's in boxes and you're trying to remember where this was at, or you put this over here so that you would be able to access that. And, and then I go to, to make coffee this morning and the coffee beans are gone, they're packed. And so it's been a bit of a, a bit of a challenge here starting off this morning, but it's okay because I'm here now among friends and I'm, I'm glad you're here. By the way, um, if you don't mind taking a second to subscribe, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share. Make sure you put your name and where you're watching or listening from this morning in the live stream chat, and I'll do a bit of a roll call here in a moment. But I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about voiceover summertime. Summertime is my second most favorite time of the year. I love Christmas, but I don't love wintertime. So love December 24th and 25th, and, you know, the few days leading up to that. But after that, it is all about summer. I'll take, you know, I'll take hot sunshine, even high humidity. I'll take that any day over winter. But when it comes to voiceover, summer has its own set of challenges. And I just wanted to share those with you. Um, and by the way, what I'm about to say is not necessarily, it doesn't apply universally. There are, there are I'm going to talk with very, very broad strokes because different people's voiceover businesses operate differently based on the clientele that they have. But generally speaking, I think it's pretty fair to say that, that summer is a bit, it's a bit crazy because it's vacation time. And that is, that's not just a, um, you know, a United States kind of thing that happens, you know, around the world. Summer, summer, especially in Europe and North America, summer is recognized as vacation time. Schools are out. People are traveling. You got all that stuff going on. So, you know, I, I have found that voiceover, generally speaking, is not, for me, has been very consistent financially just because I have, a, you know, I have a good base of business to draw from. But summer is a little bit different. In the U.S. specifically, uh, I find that Ju July 4th, which is our Independence Day, real people tend to schedule their vacations just before and after July 4th. So you've got a lot of people vacationing through that holiday. So I have found that my biggest dip in income comes through that time. Now, again, that may not be true for you, but generally speaking with people vacationing, prepare that summertime might not be quite as, uh, the, your cash flow might not be the same as it is in other parts of the year. So it is good to make sure that you budget accordingly. So number one, prepare financially for summer. You know, and it, you may be in a situation where you get more work during the summer based on your clientele. So again, I'm speaking very broadly and generally, but with so many folks taking vacation, um, it's not uncommon to see dips in income. So if you see that happen, you know, don't freak out, but don't spend all your money right now. Just know that, you know, you may be needing some cash later on in the summer as you see people and clients continue to vacation. And then things, of course, typically pick up again in the fall time. So that's the first thing to be aware of. The other thing is this, just because business slows down, if indeed it does slow down for you, doesn't mean it's time to quit marketing. As a matter of fact, it's the perfect time to take that extra time, unless you're vacationing yourself, and use that for marketing because what you do today marketing is going to ensure that good things happen for you when the fall rolls around. Because you always have to think about marketing is business is like, it's like farming in a way. There's planting and then there's tending to what you've planted and then there's harvest. But if you don't plant and you don't tend, you don't get the harvest. So summertime is a good time for voiceover talent to do a lot of, uh, a lot of sowing of seed 
you know, a lot of planting of seed. And we, we, as we get later into the summer, we kind of tend to that and keep communicating. And then when fall rolls around, if you've, you know, done the, your proper marketing, you'll make sure that things go smoothly once fall rolls around. So use this opportunity to, to market. And then finally is this, is communicate, communicate, communicate. Because not only do voiceover clients take vacations during the summer, voiceover talent take vacations, as you should. And when that happens, the big thing is this. Communicate with your clients and let them know what's going on. If you're on a voice talent roster, make sure you communicate to that roster and let them know that you won't be available during those days. Um, if you have other clients that need you on a regular basis, well, as a matter of fact, any clients that you have, I would send an email out several weeks, maybe a month before you take time off. And then a couple of reminders leading up to it, letting them know that you will be gone during that time, but you'll be glad to help them prior to that. And as soon as you return to your studio, I also find it's a good opportunity to market. So what I will often do is when I'm sending out these emails to my clients to let them know my schedule, I also include my prospects, people who have never hired me. Why in the world would I do that? It lets, it does two things. Number one, it reminds them that I exist. So once again, it puts, you know, Bill DeWeese pops back up on the radar. Secondly, it lets them know the kind of business person I am, that I'm communicative. I let my clients know. I give them the courtesy of a heads up and, and that I'm willing to bend over backwards to work with them to make sure they get their stuff done before I leave on vacation. So it's a good way to remind them that you exist and to let them know, again, that you're a quality business person, a quality voiceover talent who's going to make them happy that they hired you. So again, it's some of the unique challenges of voiceover in the summertime, but it also opens up some marketing opportunities. So make sure that you take advantage of those. All right, let's take a second. Let me get some more coffee here. I need some more caffeine. By the way, you know, as I mentioned, we're moving back to Illinois, in case you didn't hear me talk about in the previous days and my reference this morning, that's, that's what I'm talking about. We are literally leaving tomorrow. And so our house is just, it's full of boxes. It is just full of boxes and everything is in disarray and upside down. I'm working out of my mother-in-law's house, which is about 15 to 20 minutes from where we live now. And I'm um, set up in her, set up in her basement. So I'm not used to commuting in the morning. So I'm commuting. And so that's a whole other set of challenges, making sure I've got all the stuff with me because everything's, and when you're at home, everything's at home, but when you're not at home, you got to make sure you got your stuff with you. And thankfully I haven't, for, you know, forgotten to bring my coffee mug with me, which, which is a good thing. So anyhow, let's see what we got going on on the stream. We've got Greg in Asheville. We've got uh, Kevin in Duxbury, Massachusetts. Awesome. We've got Steve in Stansted, UK. Jay in Massachusetts. John in Rhinebeck, New York. Corey in Wisconsin. Kirk, uh, Jim, rather, Kirk in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, all right, Dave in New York City. How you doing? Dr. Bob, how's it going in Clearwater? Phil in Tokyo. Rusty in uh, Michigan. Dan in Michigan. Patrick in Maryland. Aaron in Columbia, Missouri. Wayne in the Olympic Mountains, Christopher uh, Meglin, Teacher Meglin here in Durham, North Carolina. <laughs> He's got the day off, so thanks for checking in, Christopher. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Hey, Scotty in Brookings, South Dakota. <laughs> Somebody says moving sucks. Indeed it does. Oh, my gosh. My back aches. Every muscle in my body is is tired and thank goodness the moving guys, they come in beginning today and take over from where, you know, where we left off. And over the next three days, it'll be packing and moving. Denise says, you're among friends. Thank you. Have an awesome day from Long Island. Dan, first DIY audio book this morning, uh, demo this morning. Congrats, Dan. We've got Brian in Cameroon, Neil in Fairfield, Ohio. MG in North Carolina, Stephen in Atlanta, get AJB in Louisville, Chad in Daytona Beach, Adrian in Fort Worth, Texas, Wally, how are you doing in Annapolis, uh, Maryland, Wade in Philadelphia, Janet in Florida, Tess in Tequila, Georgia, Julio in Jacksonville, Florida, Michael, how are you doing? Aaron, 
Uh, let's see here. Someone who's moved twice in the last year. Much respect to you. <laughs> yeah, this is this is literally our third move in less than two years. And so, as a, I've said this before, but I really mean it this time. This is it. They will have to. They will be, literally be dragging my body out of that house before I move. It won't. It won't be happening again. Aaron, our uh, let's see here, Merrill. There we go, Merrill. How are you doing in New Jersey? Got Eric in Richmond, Texas. Diane, good morning, Wisconsin. Sebastian, East Sussex, England. Hey there, Sebastian. Steve in Oshkosh. Bill in Idaho. David in Canal Winchester, Ohio. Mark. Good morning to you in Eaton, Ohio. Jack in Phoenix. Now, uh, Jack's asking Q&A tomorrow. So I typically do a Q&A on Friday, but I won't be here Friday. I will be, I am working for a few hours tomorrow, so I will be streaming tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do, let's do a Q&A tomorrow. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. I love it. So tomorrow morning, so if you have a question you want to ask, Regarding voiceover, bring it tomorrow and we'll talk about it then. In the meantime, have a great day. We'll see you then.